YouTube. I, I hope all of y'all have been able to have a great week. Um, and I, I wanted to let all of you know that in these videos, I, I want to be completely honest about what it's like for me to always live with a speech impediment. And so with that, I, I've really been irritated with wearing a, a face mask. And, and I, I know it's to prevent more people getting sick and, and so forth, but, which is good, you know. <laughs> um, though it, it definitely makes it harder on me to be able to see people's facial expressions. And, and you might be wondering why that, that makes such an impact. And the reason why is, is because I, I, re, I rely on those expressions to know if a person is, is um, comfortable or confused and, and, and just wondering why I'm speaking the way that I do. And so when everyone wears a mask, uh, it, it, it just really um, makes it hard on me. And, and then I get frustrated with, with my speech and, and not being able to s speak loud enough and, and so forth. And so I, I would just, uh, just kind of in a negative pit. Uh, a few times this week, but I am I'm very grateful for for my amazing um, boyfriend because he he just he's so patient and and so kind and I'm I really believe that having a good support will will do wonders. So last week I was talking about the beginning of this stutter um, until my sixth until my sixth grade year. And so I would like to jump into that once more but but focus more on my junior high and my high school years. So my junior high, which I was now in in seventh grade, was amazing. I I loved it so much. I, I had great friends and and they always had my back. It, it, it was great. I I couldn't ask for a better year. But then eighth grade came along and it kind of went downhill from there. You know, I, I lost a few of my good friends. I, I had a terrible haircut, which unfortunately kind of um, took my self-esteem a little bit. And, and I also became very quiet. Like, I just, I wouldn't really bother talking because I always figured that people would be, be impatient, that they'd be mean to me. And, and so I just stayed quiet and, and silent um, until one day, it was, I believe, the the third day before eighth grade ended, and and I did a personal inventory, 
with myself. And I asked uh, myself why I was so quiet. Why, if, if there are so many things going on in my mind, why, why, why do I have to be quiet? Why? <laughs> like, I was just, I, I, I don't know, I, I, I personally understood that that by being silent was not being who I was. And so right then I I decided I would face my fears and that I I wouldn't let anyone s stop me. That that I would fight for my right to s speak. And so that's that's what I did. From that point on and then for the rest of my life I I I began to fight like a lion. I I no longer cared about what what anyone said about me. And and because of that, I I was really able to focus on myself and and remember about how God sees me and and what He saw was the only thing that mattered and that it gave me courage that helped me to raise my hand in, in class when I was terrified. I was terrified of people making fun of me, of, of laughing, of mimicking, of, of doing just terrible things just because of how I spoke. And it was because of God and, and because of my faith that I was able to s stand and to rise and to press forward. And once, uh, once I did all of that, my, my freshman year and, and my sophomore year just went, went uphill and, and I was reaching out. I was becoming friends with everyone in my school because I was like, you know, I am, I, I am very outgoing. This, despite the fact that I s s speak slower, and and because of that, because of me truly accepting who I was, is what really made that impact, and and what really helped me to to face those fears. Which, which in the end, it, it made me fall in love with public s speaking, with being in front of hundreds of people. And the only way I found that out was when I would voluntarily s s speak, when I would raise my hand in class, when I would go out and, and do what I was terrified of. It is because of that that I found my passion, and I'm, I, I truly believe that if all of y'all go out and and do what you're afraid of, that is when you will be able to live your life to the fullest. That is when you will no longer care about what others think about you and and you'll be able to do the impossible because what you're focused on is is you you is what matters 
and um, and I wouldn't like to just leave it there. Um, and on Thursday, I will make a, a, another video about the rest of my high school years, about how I learned that learning another language would would help me speak more fluently, and about how how um, serving a full time mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints um, completely open up a, a new perspective and and a new life of of possibilities. And so y'all can um, comment down and, and ask if, if you have any questions about the stutter or, or what helps me to, to press forward. Um, um, you can ask absolutely anything and I'll, I'll be sure to, um, to talk about it in, in my later videos. So I hope you all have a great day and, and, and I challenge you all to, to face your fears. And, and to not let anything hold you back, okay? All right, I'll, I'll, um, I'll see y'all on Thursday. Bye.